Hello, Sue. I thought I'd give you a tour of my garden. We're looking here at my camellias, uh, and although um, the one that's come into flower has died away, it's absolutely beautiful um, when uh, it's fully in flower. I don't really do the right job. If you look very closely here, you'll see several buds on one stem. Really what I should do is break some of them off, but it's too late now. I'm finding my clematis um, have been doing extremely well and growing very fast. So as I move back from the cars um, here, you can just see um, here a new clematis, which I put in. Chris and I went to a specialist uh, grower in Hertfordshire. can't remember exactly where, but I can find out. So that's really pretty. Um, I did have the name for it now, and of course, as usual, I've lost it. But I will find it if you like it. And then my wisteria is gradually coming out here, but of course it's it's a bit it's a bit slow. And then moving into the garden uh, full time, um, I had some um, raised beds. I suppose you'd call it that made. And um, before James disgraced himself, look, uh, we managed to turn them over, fill them full of earth, and these are ready for sweet peas in practice. Then moving across towards the uh, main garden, um, it's mainly green at the moment, um, as you can see, but my delphiniums, which you can just see back there, are beginning to grow. I lost them all last year, um, I think to pigeons in the end. So I've got some um, string around the posts and also some slug bait as well. I know I shouldn't use it, but I do. Um, Here's my roses growing absolutely like mad, although of course no flowers yet um, in practice. And so it's just sort of mainly green uh, at this level, although I have got some forget-me-nots, as you can see, which self-seed um, in practice. And uh, I've also got some new plants in here as well, as you can see, mostly geraniums and um, that sort of thing. Um, so here is my lavatera, and this is the second lavatera in sequence. It came through the winter really well because it wasn't too cold um, in practice. So now moving along, I don't look as if I'm getting any apples this year because I had them professionally pruned. Um, but funnily enough, I had the pears done as well, and they were incredible in terms of flowers. So here's my white greenhouse. Um, here. And as you can see, uh, lots and lots of plants all growing. The biggest problem I've had this year is with bloody mice, of all things. You know, I've put stuff down for stuff. I've had a, a few snails, um, but not a great number. And uh, then I discovered it's the bloody mice that were eating things. Here is the green greenhouse. Um, here are some of my sweet peas already for planting. I've not been very good at keeping them growing upright, I must say. I've got some tomatoes here, um, which I've potted on. And down here, I don't know if you can see them, these little pots down here, they're the Marks and Spencers ones, which I've transplanted. So, so far I've done radishes and lettuces. They're very small, the seedlings for the lettuce, um, but they're there. This is my spinach, ready to plant out, and just to the right of it, the small green stuff, um, that's the, oh golly, it's basil, it's basil, which of course doesn't grow terribly well um, on the outside. And then I've got more uh, stuff here, but down here I wanted to show you, here are my dahlias, which have overwintered and are starting to come up like bloody billyho, where they shouldn't be put out until the end of May. So there are, there's a lot of those there. I think one here, that's a new one actually, and that may not come up. Um, I really don't know. Um, so there you are. That's a brief tour um, around my garden. So I'm going to end, if you can be patient with me, by walking across the garden, past the table tennis table, and tell John, as soon as we are able, I beat him up at tennis. But I wanted to show you my tulips. Um, which I grow in pots now rather than uh, in the ground. And this is the old sandpit uh, outside um, 
our bedroom window here. And look at that. That's an absolutely beautiful tulip. And here's another one. Can you see the gradations and some more behind them? So actually, uh, they've been really successful this year. And on the wall, right by the bedroom, which is uh, north facing, you know, it doesn't get much sun. Again, I went to that specialist grower with Chris and we bought two um, clematis, uh, which will actually um, tolerate this sort of shade and deep shade. And I've put in the bottom, look, lots and lots of little pansies, which have done really well. Now this one, this one has flowered already this year. It's a winter flowering clematis, really lovely white color. This one is an evergreen clematis, clematis and we'll flower later on. And I've just put in another trellis here, which I haven't fixed yet, which will take them. So I'm going to grow roses and clematis right across them. But I put them in a huge pot, as you can see, because the quality of the ground is not very good. So there you are. I'll leave you with my tulips and a different view. I think these are absolutely beautiful. So hope you're all well. Bye.